Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, we begin, we're back to ordinary time. Um, and we have this memorial that I don't know how recent it is because we had a hard time finding it in the Roman Missal. But it's called the Memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of the Church. So that's why it's white today instead of green, because it's a memorial for Our Lady and under the title, Mother of the Church. So let us, let us offer this Mass for everything that's going on, well, for the intentions of course, but for peace in our country, reconciliation and peace under, under Mary's care and intercession. So as we prepare ourselves to, to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us turn to God and ask for mercy. You came to call sinners, Lord, and have mercy. You were sent to heal a contrite of heart, Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to eternal life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, O merciful God, protection in our weakness, that we who keep the memorial of the Holy Mother of God may, with the help of her intercession, rise up from our iniquities. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. After Adam had eaten of the tree, the Lord God called to him and asked him, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. Then he asked, Who told you that you were naked? You have eaten then from the tree of which I had forbidden you to eat. The man replied, The woman whom you put here with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, Why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, The serpent tricked me into it, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals and from all the wild creatures. On your belly shall you crawl, and dirt shall you eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and her offspring. He will strike at your head while you strike at his heel. The man called his wife Eve, because she became the mother of all the living. The word, the word of the Lord. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. His foundation upon the holy mountains the Lord loves, the gates of Zion more than any dwelling of Jacob. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. And of Zion they shall say, One and all were born in her, and he who has established her is the Most High Lord. Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. They shall note when the peoples are enrolled, this man was born there, and all shall sing in their festive dance, My home is within you. 
Glorious things are told of you, O city of God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. O happy virgin, you gave birth to the Lord. O blessed Mother of the Church, you warm our hearts with the spirit of your Son, Jesus Christ. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Cleopas, and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. After this, aware that everything was now finished, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled, Jesus said, I thirst. There was a vessel filled with common wine, so they put a sponge soaked in wine on a sprig of hyssop and put it up to his mouth. When Jesus had taken the wine, he said, It is finished, and bowing his head, he handed over the Spirit. Now since it, is, since it was preparation day, in order that the bodies might not remain on the cross on the Sabbath, for the Sabbath day of that week was a solemn one, the Jews asked Pilate that their legs be broken, and they be taken down. So the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first, and then of the other one who was crucified with Jesus. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. But one soldier thrust his lance into his side, and immediately blood and water flowed out. The Gospel of the Lord. This morning when I woke up, I wanted to know if it was still going on around here in San Diego, all the, the looting and the, the destruction. So unfortunately, I, I learned by reading the news this morning that last night, in a different part of the city, but yeah, it was still going on last night, unfortunately. So let us continue, continue to pray that it may stop, that destruction may stop, because I really don't understand how that's helping the cause of, of the peaceful demonstrations. I don't get it. Why destroying businesses is serving any purpose at all. So let's pray, let's pray, continue to pray that that, that may stop. We're celebrating today this, this uh, memorial of Our Lady, Our Lady, Mother of the Church. She is our mother because we are the Church. Every baptized person is part of the Church, especially confirmed into the Catholic Church. We are that body of people that, that Jesus makes through the Spirit, that we are born through. Also, the Church is a mother. And we have Mary, our mother, that like all mothers, they are concerned for their children. We have this Gospel where Jesus tells the beloved disciple, here is your mother, 
what a gift, you know. And he was standing there for all of us. So we are now asking for Mary's prayers, for her help, that she may help our country heal and be reconciled and change in good ways. Let us, let us ask, maybe today if we have a chance we can pray the rosary and pray for peace. Let us now offer our prayers and intentions today. We offer this Mass for Augustine Fimbres, that he may rest in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord. And for Bud Gallagher, that he may rest in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord. Acknowledging our neediness, we turn to God and offer him our prayers for Pope Francis, for all bishops, priests, deacons, all who serve the Church, and may the Spirit draw them together to devote themselves with one accord to prayer. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer. For government officials, may God give them wisdom, mercy, and hearts to seek truth and always seek the common good. We care for those they serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer. For all mothers, especially expectant mothers facing uncertainty or poverty. May God give them the grace they need to lovingly welcome their children into our world. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For our community, for San Diego, for all the cities, Los Angeles, Chicago, Minneapolis, all the cities, Louisville, so many cities affected by violence and destruction, that, that, in, that violence may stop, and, and for, for, the peaceful, for the peaceful demonstrators, you know, for, for what they are seeking is that reform in, to an end to racism, for that as well we pray. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear and answer the prayers we make with one accord. We pray to your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the great we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. As we honor the memory of the mother of your son, we pray, O Lord, that the oblation of this sacrifice may, by your grace, make of us an eternal offering to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us, through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, and sending down your spirits upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. With him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And the Savior's command, and informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, 
and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy, you should enter into my room, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. You can pray, O oh Jesus, I believe you are truly present, his most blessed sacrament of the Eucharist, although I cannot receive you sacramentally, please come into my heart. Do not allow me to be separated from you. Let us pray. 
having been made partakers of eternal redemption, we pray, O Lord, that we who commemorate the mother of your Son may glory in the fullness of your grace and experience its continued increase for our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go in peace. <laughs>